Hey guys, Redstone here. Sorry if you can hear my printer in the background, but these are the top 10 affordable 3D printers under $1,000. Now these are some really close to 1000 some are way below 1000 and some are just right in the middle of 1000 So first, we're going to kick it off with the DaVinci 1.0. Now there's many, many downsides to this printer, so I put it at number 10. And it's a $500 printer. It prints pretty good. It has pretty good, you know, reliability is pretty good. It's not that great, but DaVinci 1.0 is a pretty great machine. It prints pretty good. Uh, the only bad thing is the cartridges, of course, which I actually explained about on my first review. So if you want to watch that video, it's just on my YouTube channel. And yeah. So that's why that's why at number five at five hundred dollars. Now n number ten, number nine. Now this might you know, surprise some people. The Da Vinci Junior. The Da Vinci Junior is a great printer, but there is another printer that I wanted to mention that did not make their list. Is the M3D Micro 3D printer, which actually did not make the list because of one feature they left out. The feature that they left out was no no printing without a computer. You can't load an SD, load something with an SD card, put it into the printer and it'll print. No, you have to have it constantly in your computer. And if your computer shuts off, like the battery dies or something, your print stops. And, it, and yeah, that's kind of annoying. So in their next version, or maybe their, um, maybe their, like, I don't know. Maybe next version, but, um, yeah. The A is the Dremel 3D Idea Builder. Now, this is a uh, $1,000 printer just at the point. If you get free shipping, tax might be a little bit up, so around 1220 But what makes this printer super good is it is only PLA only. Uh, you only can use their filament, which I actually have a roll. Actually, I, it's under my bed. Um, I can't get it, but I do have a Dremel 3D Idea Builder roll. They are very high quality rolls. Um, it's like $30 for like 1.1 pounds of filament. You thought that price was bad for this? That's even worse of a price. But yeah. Comes with a couple flavors. Um, you know, the coolest part has a touch screen, has Wi Fi capabilities. For under a price of a thousand dollars number seven this actually come came out of a came out of a Kickstarter project and I didn't back it or anything but it's called the we're most fun now I saw this on Amazon for seven hundred dollars and when I watched the Kickstarter video it looked pretty solid so it comes with a removable extruder comes with uh, auto bed leveling it comes with a um, Wi-Fi capabilities and any filament you want for $700. So if you're looking for a printer like that, um, yeah. I'm going to try to leave the links in the description. Maybe I could, but let's see if I can. If you if you don't see anything, then just go to Amazon and you'll see all the printers. Um, one printer that I really wanted to make, but it couldn't, is the iBox Nano. Sorry, I love it. It's just a resin. You need to fix that resin. <laughs> we need to we need to make another material besides resin. It sucks. So, number six, replacing that. Now, you might find this surprising because it's a three-year-old printer. I'm not even joking. Uh, Maker Muse has it. Guess what it is? The Up Mini. Yeah, we're going there. So, this printer only uses up brand plastic which is eighty dollars you thought this was expensive look at the eighty dollar plastic that they sell yeah there's an easy mod to change the temperature but yeah i put this on their list because it's six hundred dollars right now on amazon for that price you're getting a solid engineering printer that has reliable prints and when you print it it always comes out good i mean never had it before but i know it does Number five, the printer bot play. This is three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Comes with a small build volume, but you can use any plastic you want, and it's PLA only. So, yeah, that that might be a problem, but 
to most people that's not um yeah number three now this might be a shocker to people the cube three now the cube three has really great prints the only problem with it is the cartridges in the cube four they need to find out that they need to use open source filament so hopefully that happens number two the the da vinci 1.0 aio and why the aio for the 1.0 the scanner the better extruder the um the face option the cooler color scheme well i mean guess it is the same color scheme um yeah the better extruder and the twin scanners mostly is the scanner alone costs like five hundred dollars if you're just buying a scanner alone so great deal here and on Amazon right now, it's unfortunately $7.99, but on Newegg right now, it's $5.99. For $100 more, you're getting a scanner and a better extruder. So, if you want that, and yeah, go buy it. Uh, number one, this might surprise you, but it didn't surprise me. The DaVinci Pro. Finally, it brings open source filament. So, you can use any, I'm saying any filament you want. And... That's really a selling point. At $549, you get a heated bed, fully assembled machine, pro software, easy to use pretty still. Pretty easy to use. Not as easy to use as these guys, but has a good software. It's supposed to have a great firmware. I want you to watch the YouTube video um, first printing, and it looked pretty solid. So let's hope it is solid. But... Yeah, that's my top 10 list. Um, I think in a couple more days, I'm going to do the top 10 printers under $2,000. So that's going to be a good video. And then the top 10 printers under $3,000. Yeah, if you are if you want a ridiculously high-end printer, then go for that. But for now, that's me, Ryan. And oh, before I go, make a muse, subscribe to my channel. And he's amazing. If you're watching this video right now, make your Maker's Muse, you are amazing. I love your accent too. Bye!